Tonight, all across the state of Florida, there is more access, but also more confusion regarding the vaccine for COVID-19. The list of people across Florida eligible for the vaccine is getting longer, no matter how you look at it. But there is confusion about the rules regarding those under 65 who have pre-existing health conditions. Let's get right out to CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo, who is live in Doral with the latest. Jessica. That's right, Elliot. We're still a lot of confusion, especially here at a Publix. And the question is, if you have an underlying health condition, do you have to show proof at a Publix? Well, Publix tells us they are under an honor system, meaning you just have to claim you have an underlying health condition. It's still a bit confusing. Take a listen. It's a great relief. You can't see my ear to ear smile behind this mask. Mission accomplished on this Monday for Jeanette Blankenhorn and her husband, Paul. They were able to get inside Publix for a vaccination. After providing proof, they are seniors and Florida residents. They came here from Naples. Very hard. We've been trying since uh, we, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Public says it is also vaccinating those under 65 under an honor system, meaning they do not need to prove they have an underlying health condition. They just need to claim they do. However, this evening after hearing from Publix, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued an executive order expanding eligibility and stated those with an underlying health condition must have a statement from a physician showing proof they have met the criteria to get a shot. Because we think we're going to get J&J &J this week and because we are starting to see higher allocations of the Pfizer, we're also going to see these federal sites open up in four different parts of our state this week. Uh, I'll be signing an executive order later today uh, to expand vaccine eligibility to all sworn law enforcement officers age 50 and above, all firefighters age 50 and above, and all K-12 through school personnel age 50 and above. FIU infectious disease specialist Dr. Eileen Marty applauds the opening of more sites for vaccinations. It's absolutely critical to get as many people with a high level of protection against this virus as possible. Nearly 4 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine are being packed up to be shipped out. DeSantis hopes 175,000 doses of the vaccine should be available by the end of the week. This does not have the efficacy of the messenger RNA vaccines like Moderna and Pfizer, but it does help prevent hospitalizations and death. This is a single shot vaccine, so 100 million U.S. citizens will be able to get vaccinated before the summer. The White House COVID-19 response team argues vaccines create the path out of the pandemic as dangerous variants spread across the country. At this level of cases with variants spreading, we stand to completely lose the hard-earned ground we have gained. Now, since DeSantis' executive order was signed, we have reached out to Publix numerous of times. We have not heard back just yet. I'm Lavin Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News.